guys, welcome to The Fix. Today, my childhood is returning. Today, one of the best PlayStation 2 games of all time that I grew up watching my older cousins play when I was younger is finally getting a remaster, Onimusha Warlords. Capcom announced that Onimusha Warlords is getting a remaster next January. It was the first PlayStation 2 game that sold 1 million copies and will be sure to sell more with the remaster edition when it releases on the 15th of January on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and Switch for a price of 20 US dollars. Set in feudal Japan, you play as a samurai and ninja that massacres hordes of demons to save Princess Yuki. The remaster will have enhanced visuals, improving the game's background graphics, character models, and cutscenes. It will also have analog stick support as well as 4x3 and 16x9 display options. In addition, easy mode will be available, which wasn't available in the first game, perfect for pro easy gamers like me. You thought that was it for Cyberpunk 2077 news? You thought! And to make things more interesting, it's explosive news. Almost literally. The development team at CD Projekt Red are putting in a heavy amount of in-game destruction to Cyberpunk 2077 in order to create the rawness of a dystopian world. CDPR level designer Miles Toss said, The game will be highly physical, will have a lot of destruction. The world of Cyberpunk is not a nice, beautiful place, everyone happy, and we want to portray this gruesome side of life. The company has yet to decide if environments will be fully destructible in-game, but they did mention that they would like to make it happen if possible. Open world RPG with fully destructible environments? Count me in! If you guys are hoping for a Soul Calibur 7, you guys better pray hard that Soul Calibur 6 does well. Producer Motojiro Okubo told Dual Shockers that the Soul Calibur franchise was on shaky ground after the fifth installment and that there may not be another game in the series if this upcoming game is a flop. For fans who trust series creators and developers Project Soul, there is at least a silver lining as Okubo explained. Since the Soul Calibur brand is facing a crisis, we have nothing to lose, so we just decided to do what we want to do. We don't want to blackmail the users by saying that it could be the last one. But as it is, yes, it could be. So if you guys want to see the franchise continue, you guys better grab your friends and grab the game when it hits the stores. And that's all for today. Ugh, I am so happy that Onimusha Warlords is getting a remaster because now I can finally play it. And no one, no one can tell me that I'm too young to play it. Ha! <laughs>